Quad Higgs, Bryson White, and Jalen West. Uh, we'll start off with a statement from Quad Higgs. Well, I'm really proud of our team because um, and it's, it kind of ties into this game. You know, we're 5-11. and 11. We won 12 out of our last 15 ball games. We put ourselves in position. And, and that's remarkable because they could have all folded their tent and left. But as you saw tonight, we're 16 points down, and we don't believe in folding our tent and going to the house. And I, that, that's very indicative of who they are, their character. And I appreciate that very much because that says a lot for our athletic department under the direction of Mr. Burke. And that's important for us to, to know from a standpoint of individuals, you know, lost to a very, very good basketball team. You know, I mean, they've done a fabulous job. They've had a wonderful year. But I'm, I'm very proud of my guys and victory or defeat because they brought it and they competed. And, and against all odds, the way that uh, Heyman and Walker were draining threes and Clayton in the first half making all those threes is just remarkable. So just a, just a great effort, a great job. And, and, you know, at least we've made everybody stay around for a while. I think the game went over, didn't we? Chris Bailey, KLB TV. Uh, this is for Bryson and Dequan. You know, tough game. Like Coach said, you know, you guys kind of fought back. You know, really made it a, a great game. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go your way. Kind of talk about the emotion of playing a game like this for your for your guys' final game. Um, it's very emotional. You know, the last your last your last game. You always want to go out on with a W, but you know, it's, it's the time comes where your streak ends, and I guess it just didn't happen to end tonight. I mean, we we did what we could. There was a little, a couple of plays here and there that we should have made better, better thoughts on, but we didn't. So, uh, first of all, I've basketball since age of three, and it's like you know, you wake up every morning, and only play game of basketball, and now that it starts to come to an end, it gets kind of emotional. I wouldn't pick any kind of court, pick any other group of guys that I wouldn't go out with. When it was the job, my brothers and I just appreciate the time and the attention that they showed me this past few years. You're down 16, you know, kind of the second half trying to fight back. Jalen, you, know, you had a monster game, 36 points. Got to talk about your performance, trying to get this team back in it, you know, trying to make a run here late. I think uh, my teammates did a great job of finding me in other spots and now they're just making shots. And, uh, and, um, I think SFA did a good job of guarding me and, uh, drawing up different plays and kind of confusing me. But um, I think we overcame it and um, we, we tried to fight back and we just couldn't get over the hump down. For, for Jalen and Coach, you know, you guys have had a lot of, you know, contributions from Daquan and Bryson here. Going forward, though, what are you guys kind of looking at for the future now? I think we have a um, great freshman group that um, will come on next year and um, the years to come, such as uh, Keith Young Willie and uh, Trayvon Joseph, Sabrina Thompson, and we still have Marvin coming back and a couple of those guys, so I think it'll be pretty good. You know, the future's bright. You know, I told the seniors uh, in there, Patrick and Gary, and then, of course, Bryson and Hugh came along, but uh, they have kind of brought our program back because we kind of hit that rough spot, which is a normal thing at, at our level, to hit some rough spots. You can't stay up all the time. And uh, they, they ignited us with a group of seniors a year ago, then they brought us back to the right here where we're at, trying to, to get this thing going again. I knock it on the door, we knocked on the door, we just didn't kick it down when we needed to. But you know, I think the future's bright. You know, We've got to go to work and go get the right pieces and understand that we've got to improve and get better. And in some, in a lot of areas, and one of them would be defense. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about the future, and I'm excited because the character involved. You know, that that that's a big, big thing. Doesn't mean they're always going to agree with me on everything. They don't like me when I every day, but they're going to love me, and I'm going to love them back. And that's so important to develop in a program because you know we all don't agree with each other all the time, do we, Q? <laughs> Last night, Coach, we talked about the fact, you know, facing the fear. You mentioned something along those lines. Now, talk about the fear, you know, the lack of it that you guys showed uh, when you were down 16. Well, if I can find the thing on my phone, I'll tell you what I read. But, you know, I'm not very phone, phone uh, savvy here. Okay, it says, too many of us are not living our dreams because we're living our fears. 
That's what that was the last thing I said to him. We've got to understand that we got to face our fears. And if getting beats your fear, you got to stare at face straight in the face and try to knock it down. And you know, that's the thing, and that's with life. That's with our relationship with our Heavenly Father. That's relationship with everything we have. We have to face our fears and live our dreams. And we don't do that so many times because there's so much out there that we could grasp and take a part of, but we don't do that. And, you know, I appreciate them listening to me because, I mean, we're giving a lot. So we didn't face any fear tonight. We, we, we were looking for dreams to take that next step forward. So that it was kind of timely, and I can't believe that I got that up on my phone immediately. <laughs> uh, Brandon, excuse me, Brandon Scott from Huntsville, Idaho. This is for Jalen and Laquan. Uh, for either of you, Jalen, you had a you had a play in the second half where you stole the ball uh, in the, on an inbounds play and called a timeout before you got out of bounds, uh, which seemed like a like a huge play for you guys. But then when you tried, when you guys tried to inbound it to Laquan. It was, the ball was stolen. How big of a play was that? Uh, how pivotal was that uh, in the game? It seemed like y'all had a chance to really come back. I think that was a, a momentum change. Uh, when I stole it in the call time, I think we had the momentum. When they stole it back, I think the momentum switched back to their side, and um, I think it carried them to get the win. It was, it, was, it was a really big play for, for West on the defense end to help us get to uh, try to come back, but when the ball, I missed, I missed that, I stepped out of bounds, so I mean, I made a mistake, but I mean, there's nobody fighting, it's just, it just happens with the game, that's what's going on. This is for uh, all three players. You think coming into this game, even though they were, you know, you guys were the underdogs and they were, you know, 18 0 they still had a little bit more to prove than you guys, and you guys think defending Southland champs or my person? I wouldn't um, consider us the underdog, uh, but if you look at the record, it probably would. But um, I think both teams are equally matched. Um, I think they're a better defensive team than a better offensive team. But um, I think they did a better job at outscoring us today, and uh, that's how they got the win. Any other questions? Hey, guys, what makes SFA so good? Yeah, I've got another side of this question. What makes SFA so good? They run their play well. They use the clock well. Time management in the game is beautiful. I think that um, they have a good defense. Um, they have a good defense. They have a good defense. They have a good defense. They have a good Any other questions? All right, thank you.